Hello and welcome to this training video, iMovie for iPad Part 1. I'm Ben Phillips with the School of Education at Union University and what we're going to do today is walk through an actual demonstration of using the iMovie app for the iPad and uh, editing some video with that. We'll look at how to edit raw video footage. Uh, this was footage shot with the iPad. We'll go back from there and add titles to our project. Then we'll insert still images and some other graphics. And finally, at the very end, uh, for a finishing touch, we'll add music and some narration. Now, we won't be able to do all four of those in the same training video. So in this video, just part one, we'll, we'll tackle those top two. We'll edit the raw video footage in iMovie and add titles. Uh, there'll be some other training videos uh, that will follow that will do the other uh, bullets there listed. Now the screen you're seeing right now is actually a screen from my iPad, but that's in Keynote. So I'm going to exit out of the Keynote app for iPad and then slide over to find the iMovie app and we'll go directly into iMovie. I believe iMovie is $4.99. It's an Apple product. If you're an Apple user, you might be familiar with it. And uh, this version is kind of a scaled down version for the iPad. First of all, it opens up to this screen, which looks kind of like a movie marquee, a movie theater marquee. And uh, there's different projects that I've already worked on. This is my iPad that uh, I use for work and also for uh, at home. So there's some other things in there. But notice on the lower left-hand corner, there's a little um, icon that has the question mark in it. And that opens up some menu options where you can get some iMovie help. And so it has uh, some... Uh, menus here where you can click on the different things and so if there's another part you want to find out some more information on it is right there from that first screen. The uh, next button over looks like a plus symbol and that's to add a new project so I'm going to click that and we're going to start on uh, our new project. The iMovie screen is really divided into three parts. That bottom part, uh, the long uh, rectangular part is called the uh, time frame. In the upper right hand corner that's going to be the preview menu and over in the upper left hand side that's where we find all of our raw footage, our pictures and music and those other things that we can add to our project. Let me say a word right now about the way the iPad screen is. Uh, if the iPad screen is turned the other direction, uh, portrait, it does not look the exact same. So I recommend that you turn your iPad uh, in this landscape orientation and lock your screen so that you don't have uh, a different view than what I'm showing you right now. Uh, the portrait screen actually eliminates some of the menu options, makes it a little more difficult to navigate. What I've done is I have uh, have footage from a class that I have, teach. It's called uh, it's a research methods design class, and I'm going to um, put together a video that shows a strategy that I used in class so that I can share that then with other educators. Now the strategy itself is nothing all that groundbreaking. It was really just some footage that I shot in order to do this project, the training video. But in my uh, upper left hand corner where I have some video footage, you can see they look like film strips. And uh, what we're going to do is we're going to put together a project that I guess uh, demonstrates using this strategy in, uh, in, in real life. What the strategy was is it was asking students to think through a discussion question at the beginning of class but then I asked them to uh, write down their responses before we talked about it. It was a question that required some deep thought so I wanted them to have some um, time and to crystallize their thinking in writing before we actually discussed it with the students. Now, this is a small class of only four students and so then I videoed each of the students responses and I'm going to edit those together. Unfortunately my audio uh, was not correct on one of the students so I only have three to put into the video. In the middle part of the screen you'll notice that there are three icons on the left hand side. The one that's highlighted is in blue. Those are still pictures. If I click the one, uh, or sorry, those are videos. If I click the one that obviously looks like a camera, that gives me the option to pull in some still images from my camera roll, my photo library there. If I click the one that looks like a music note, that gives me the opportunity to pull in some of my songs to add as background music. Uh, I can use some of the preloaded theme music from the iPad, or it even has some sound effects. I'm going to go to the option that was the first one there, which is where I pull in raw video footage that I've shot. I'm going to select the first student who uh, gave me the answer uh, to our discussion question. And by doing that, I'm going to simply find the film strip, and it's this one right here. And iPad will draw a um, yellow, some, some video editing software calls that a, a rubber band, around the clip. 
and then it puts the little blue arrow there, which means that's the action key to drop it into the bottom part, the time frame, uh, the timeline where it looks like uh, what my finished product's going to go. Uh, you'll notice in that yellow rubber band in two of the corners I have a, a, a dot. If I click that with my fingertip and hold, I can actually go ahead and within the footage uh, delete parts on the right, uh, which would be of course the back end, or on the left. But I'm going to drop the whole uh, video down into my timeline. Now what you can do in the timeline is use your fingertip to go left to right, obviously to go to the front of the clip or to the back. In the clip that I've just put in, there's also um, some blue uh, at the bottom that represents the audio that goes with the clip. Uh, that's the uh, audio that was recorded with the raw footage. And you'll notice that iPad has the option for you to turn on uh, the waveform, which helps you a little bit to see uh, the audio visually as it was recorded. In the close to the center of the screen, there's a waveform button. If I click that and turn that off, it'll go from blue to white. Then it takes the audio waveform out, and you can't see that, but it's very helpful, especially if you're trying to sync music with narration, with the audio of the raw footage to keep that turned on. So I'm going to leave that on. Now, in my uh, clip here, it's right against that red line, which goes in the uh, very center of the bottom panel. Uh, that would be the playhead, and anytime you click play, then that's exactly where it's going to start playing. So, for example, if I slide my film strip to the left and the clip moves over some, if I were to hit the play button right now, it would not start at the beginning of the clip. It would start right there a few seconds in where the playhead is located. That just helps you to, to know exactly where you are in your project. And, obviously, it's putting on the preview window, which is in the upper right hand, corner there uh, with the student uh, uh, and his books laid out on the table. It's putting up there in the preview where the playhead is at that point in time. So as you move the film strip around, it's going to change the uh, preview window. Underneath the preview window is the simple triangular uh, triangle, which is the icon, of course, that represents play. And so I can click play and I can watch the raw footage. You displace your values. I think, in fact, by having the values that a Christian. So he's answering the question. Uh, he was my first student to respond uh, when we asked the discussion question. What happened, though, was at the beginning of the clip in this raw footage, there's actually uh, just me talking. Uh, I'm helping another student who's recording the footage and getting ready to start the discussion. And I'm going to want to edit that out, but let me play it for you so you can hear what I'm talking about. And then it's going to tell you it's going to be the counter right there. Yeah. All right, Brian, so I'm going to start with you. What's your uh, thoughts about can a Christian be a true scientific researcher? Well, you know, my initial thought. So all of that point uh, right there up until that is um, footage that I want to edit out. I don't want that to be in my finished project. The way that I edit footage uh, is that I take and take that beginning in input endpoint and I pull that closer to the red playhead. And then what happens is that's going to delete that part at the beginning. In order to do that, though, I have to get that yellow rubber band again around my clip. So I'm going to simply tap it one time with my finger. You'll notice then it put the yellow rubber band around, and it gave me that dot in the upper left-hand corner. I'm simply going to take that dot with my fingertip and pull that. Now, notice it did move the playhead, but as I pull that in, what it's doing is it's cutting off the first part of that footage. In the upper part of the preview window, right now it's where the student is in the preview window, right above his head, notice that little bitty rectangle and it says uh, 52.7. That's telling you how many seconds long that clip is and that may be helpful uh, uh, particularly later with some of the still images to know exactly what I've got. Now unfortunately with iMovie, you have to do some trial and error here. Uh, it's hard for me to exactly find that starting point. So what I have to do is play around with it. In other words, I'm going to play it again, see if I'm right there, and then I might have to adjust it some more to get the exact starting point. If I ever edit too much out and actually begin to take away part of his response, I can always take that yellow dot and pull it back to the left, and that will restore the original part of the clip. Now, over here to the far end, so I'm going to slide down to the right, and let me play the tail end of his response. So notice the playhead is going to play just a few, the last few seconds of his response. I'll click play. You would make one a better, or maybe 
Um, it just affirms the process in my opinion. So that pretty well ended where uh, where it wa I wanted it to end, so that's not too much of a problem there. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to put in the second student's response, and so I'm going to go back to where the raw video footage is in the upper left-hand corner. I'm going to select the one that's in the middle, and uh, we're going to take the second student and drop her response in. By clicking that blue uh, arrow, it's going to drop it in immediately behind the first clip, and also it's going to put in a transition between the two clips that is by default a uh, cross dissolve. Um, so that little double uh, triangle there represents the transition which is dissolved from one to the other. It's a nice soft dissolved and I think it's by default uh, it will probably be one that, that you'll likely use a lot. You can change that up as more of an advanced feature. Uh, you could take it away where it's not a dissolve at all. Instead it's just a, a hard cut from one clip to the other or if you're using some of the pre-built themes you have some options there. For my project today though I'm gonna leave the dissolve the same. Let me slide back a little bit and I'm gonna play it in the preview window so you can see what the dissolve looks like as it goes from one student to another. Or maybe um, it just affirms the process. Down. I don't know I was just trying to process as I wrote things down and my so that put us from one student over to the other and we now have the two clips back to back. Uh, I'm going to slide over to the right at the end of that clip and then I'm going to find my next student uh, which is up here and I'm going to ask iMovie to drop that in. It will put him next to the other and right now what I have is I have a nice product where all three of the uh, students have been edited together with a nice dissolve in the middle and I've also walked through how to um, make the the, uh, audio, uh, the video footage be shorter by editing off on the left and right sides to pull it in. Uh, if you're an advanced video editor and you're familiar with splitting uh, clips and other features like that, uh, that's not something that this version of iMovie does to my knowledge. What I want to do now is I want to put a title in for each of the students so you can see at least the student's first name uh, on the screen. In order to do that I'm going to uh, select the clip so I've got the yellow rubber band around it but what I need to do is I need to double tap it. When I double tap it it opens up some menu options uh, under clip settings and I'm going to work on the one right now that's the very first one it says title style. When I clip that, uh, tap that I have three options for a title uh, other than obviously the default option which is no title. Uh, the opening which is generally what iMovie uh, says would be you would use at the beginning of a, of a video project. There's an ending type title and I'm going to select right now this one in the middle. By selecting the middle option you'll notice in my video footage it's put a black bar in the bottom part of the preview window. Also there's the dotted rectangle and says uh, title text here. I tap inside that white rectangular box and it opens up my virtual keyboard. Uh, I'm going to type in the student's first name Brian and then uh, I'll am done with that part. Now as I slide my clip back to the very beginning and I play the video you'll notice in the preview window it's about, can a Christian that it's going to insert the nice black ribbon well, across you know, the bottom part of the screen and it puts the student's was, name you know, on there absolutely. to have that label. Uh, I don't think so let me pause you, that that will uh, play throughout the, the entire clip and then let me slide down to the next student's clip. Uh, remember I double tap the clip. I have the uh, yellow rubber band and then it opens up the menu option. I'm going to choose the title style middle. Uh, let's put the student's name in here and done. And then finally we'll slide all the way to the third student. Double tap the clip. Put in title style middle click inside that rectangular box that has the white uh, border. Uh, it's ready for me to type in his name and done. And at this point I have the three students responses from the raw footage all edited together. Also I've edited them down where I took unnecessary parts out of the beginning or the end if the edges were rough and I put the title in uh, with their first names. We're going to take this project much, much further by adding that narration and some still images and also music, but for right now that was the first part of what I wanted to show, which